We're well aware that urbanization is generally not good for the native animals that live in the area as we build more concrete and asphalt and just completely displace all plant life. But for some animals, it's a good thing. Case in point, spiders. Uh, so some researchers in Australia were discovering the differences of spiders in the wild, the bush, and spiders in uh, urban areas. Urban areas located far away from any kind of native encroaching uh, plant life, or actually we're the ones encroaching, rather. And they found interesting things, um, namely after, well they collected a total of 222 female spiders. That's a terrible job. <laughs> That's a lot of spiders. Uh, <laughs> from different areas, inner city, inner city areas to continuous bushland. They wanted to see if urbanization affected them, and boy did it ever. They found that specimens removed from inner city parks weighed on an average of 1.6 grams. It does not sound like a lot when you consider how much a gram weighs, but when you consider that wild spiders usually weigh half a gram, that's more than, uh, that's, that's more than double. That's that's a, 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 today a in lot. nope. Three times. Three <laughs> times. As large. Three times as large. No, um, no. Nope. Furthermore, and you'll like this, Jenna, spider ovaries were also significantly bigger. That's not good. Yeah. So they, they are doing better in places without leaf litter and without, uh, I guess what, what's happening is that there's lots of bugs for them to eat. They found that spiders like lampposts especially to hang out of at. Of course they do, because they're criminals. Because no. <laughs> Yeah, well, yes, Jenna, but also <laughs> that's where the light attracts smaller bugs, which they like to eat. I think they've got little trench coats on, sunglasses, like, fedoras. Want to buy some drugs? I don't know. They're getting big. They might have clothes next. No, I am. I'm, I'm not happy with this. Um, but it also would make sense that there are better places to hide because hiding under a leaf, you can still get crushed. Hiding in a building, concrete. So um, it makes me want to move to a farm. Mm -hmm. um, and never go to Australia where they have all the dangerous things. I mean, Australia, like, if we were to guess where the biggest spiders were, obviously it's Australia. That is yeah. Really yeah. And Absolutely. my basement. Of course. Yes. I, no. I, I'm not going in my so basement. So basically, <laughs> What they feel this research confirmed, in at least in their experience, is that cities are making spiders bigger. It is our own fault. Oh, God. Um, they also said it was because um, urban areas tend to be warmer. Mm -hmm. They think that might help. Um, and that it was interesting. They said in wealthier areas, the spiders are even bigger. So nicer bugs. Nicer yeah. bugs. Really high class quality mm -hmm. bugs. Mm -hmm. They get better food. I totally get that. Yeah, I mean, none of this is new. We've seen this in the documentaries, Eight-Legged Freaks and Big-Ass Spiders. I haven't watched those. No. Yeah, no. and arachnophobia, all totally true. I've seen that documentary, mm -hmm. for sure. Cute, horrifying <laughs> spiders no. in urban areas. That's no, 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 nothing no, 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 new. No. Well, it made me consider, you know, back in college, I remember seeing some fat-ass squirrels. And I saw a squirrel with an entire piece of pizza in its mouth once. So maybe yeah. we are affecting I don't know that wildlife. people on college Quite campuses feed spiders by hand. No. no. I, I used to feed squirrels. No. I had one that would come to my door and actually eat out of my hand. So I am responsible for that. But I do not feed the spiders. Mm. No. Yeah, they're, they're generally finding their own food as, a, as <laughs> probably an unconscious result of us uh, attracting bugs to us and attracting hospitable areas. I like spiders. Spiders are bros. Well, they do eat mosquitoes, yeah. and that's good. They mm -hmm. eat the bugs that and I flies. don't want in my house. Right. I, I mean, I won't kill one. I scoop them up in a little cup and put them outside and tell them never to come back. Do they listen? No, they do not. <laughs> I don't speak spider. All right. <laughs> Good to know. Yes. Uh, but basically, if you if there's big spiders in your house, it's it's your fault, buddy. But not exactly. Uh, so this is interesting and horrifying to those of us who are scared of spiders. What do you think of all this? Let us know below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.